Hey guys, Andrew Marsh here with DrewFit.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the benefit of using urine therapy topically and how to use it topically as well. But before I get into that, I want to first ask if you guys can please subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos with somebody that could use this information. It would be greatly appreciated. So let me just jump right into it. Um, and this is one question I get quite a bit is, if I use it topically, what urine is the best to use? And this is a really cool question because you can really use any type of urine you want topically on your hair and skin. Um, but you're gonna notice most benefit with either using the first morning urine or aged urine. And the reason the first morning urine is so good, and I've talked about this in my other videos, is that it has a lot more of the compounds in the morning, such as a higher, higher urea content, it's going to have more stem cells, fatty acids, amino acids, so on and so forth. And these things show major benefits for the skin and the elasticity of the skin and collagen production. Um, so that's a huge um, reason why you want to do the first morning urine almost every day. And another great one is going to be aged urine. And that's because the bacteria content gets so much stronger. And that too has shown major benefits with the skin. And through my personal experience, I think the aged is hands down the best one to use topically, um, but I will forewarn you if you use it on your hair, it may have a stench, so you may not wanna be around a lot of people. But if you do use the aged on your skin, it really doesn't have that strong of a scent for that long. It kinda just goes away, but it leaves you with a real nice glow, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So um, I hope that answers the question on what type of urine. It's really your preference, but like I said, first morning or aged is going to be your best bet for seeing the most benefit. Now, what is it used for? Um, basically for your hair and skin as a beauty product, a lot of people use it as, and you'll notice this just by using it, is that it kind of de-ages your skin, it takes away wrinkles and fine lines, and what I've personally noticed since practicing urine therapy topically about a year ago, is I started to, actually I stopped using shampoos, conditioners, body soaps, hand soaps, unless it's, it's an extreme reason to, but 99% of the time I don't use any other product other than my own urine, uh, which is pretty crazy because I never thought it would come to that, but uh, when you begin to use it, you're like, well, this is working better than any product I've bought, so why wouldn't I? And it's free, so another added bonus. Now that's not to discredit any company that has great products because I know there are a lot of good ones out there, but I've yet to come across one that works as effective as urine therapy. So um, what else can you use it topically for? Uh, your sinuses and eyes as well. Um, and that's kind of internal using it in your sinuses um, through your nostrils or your ears or eyes. But I have noticed major benefit with using fresh urine on um, sinuses and eyes. Now, I want to say I do not use aged yet on my sinuses or eyes just because I'm not sure if it's safe or not. So I really want to want you to do your research before applying aged um, internally at any cost. But I do know some people that mix it with distilled water or uh, fresh urine. They mix their aged urine just like a dropper full of the aged inside of that stuff. Um, and one person that has a YouTube channel is Wiley Schmidt. He has great videos on urine therapy as well, so I highly recommend you check him out. Um, but what are some of the uses? Now, I only wrote down about 15 of them, and I'm just gonna kind of rattle them off and talk about them a little bit. But like I talked about earlier, nasal and sinus. Um, personally, using it through my uh, nasal cavity has helped big time because sometimes I wake up with a stuffed nose or um, an ears ringing. Uh, something like that, whether it be caused by the non-native EMFs around or if you have a food allergy, this really kicks it to the curb, I have noticed. And what I do is I essentially um, have my urine, and I wanna make this clear before I go further, uh, for the nasal cavity, fresh urine. So I have my fresh urine in a glass. I don't recommend using aged. Um, I'm sure it might have benefit, but I just haven't tried it, so I'm not gonna tell you to do that. But so it's fresh urine and I got myself a dropper and I literally just put it in the fresh urine and through my nose or ears and kind of just let it sit there for a few seconds and then drain it out. And it's, it just works wonders uh, for the nasal cavity. Um, other issues I've seen people help with is acne and psoriasis. 
and this is just simple application of the infected area. Um, say you have uh, ac acne on your face, just applying the, the drops to the face and rubbing it in is going to work wonders. And if you have acne or psoriasis, I think you're going to have major benefit with using aged urine. And another thing I forgot to mention, when storing aged urine, you do not want to store it in plastic. Um, you want to store it in glass. And what I have here, this is actually an aged urine from about a month ago, and it's stored in glass, so you can hear that. And that's because if you store aged urine in plastic, it starts to leach some of the plastic chemicals into the urine, so that could have major issues that come along with doing that, especially if you're consuming it. So glass stored aged urine is best. Um, other things that helps with cuts, scrapes, and burns. Um, I talked about one of my videos, I actually got bit by a spider one time. Uh, so spider bites you can throw in there as well. Um, I actually got bit by a spider. I noticed my finger was starting to bubble up and swell. And I was like, oh wow, this is a perfect time to check this. So I rubbed it on topically and put it under my tongue and because uh, it does create the antidote to go fight the poison that you just got infected with. And I literally watched the bubble on my finger go away within seconds. So again, that's kind of double teaming it, putting it on topically and internally. Um, but if you do get bit, scraped, cut, or burn, just applying it topically is going to work wonders. Again, aged urine works better than fresh, in my opinion. Um, other things that helps, dry and damaged eyes. Um, and again, the way you apply this, again, the dropper with fresh urine in the eyes, just a couple drops, boom, 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 right in the eye, and let it soak there as long as you can. And you'll notice your eyes feel a lot more hydrated and healthy, and it actually takes away uh, some of the redness in the eyes if you have eye strain or anything like that. Um, other things that helps with, like I was talking beauty products, so it really helps with wrinkles and stretch marks. Um, a lot of people are big proponents on as well. And again, aged urine works better than the fresh for that. Um, I have other friends that have talked about using it for fungal or athlete's foot. So say you're somebody that has a fungal infection um, on your body. Some people, uh, their baldness actually comes from a fungal infection. Or if you have athlete's foot, applying urine is going to be fantastic at getting that bacteria out of there and really neutralizing the pH on your skin and head. So. Another thing, like I've talked about in my other video, for thick and full hair, again, this is another one where aged works better than the fresh, but if you do the fresh route, use the AM for your hair. Another thing I talked about, it's a substitute for soap, uh, shampoos, condition your body soap. Um, if you have dandruff or dry scalp, there's actually a TED Talk on this. Um, I'm not sure what country it was from, but the guy said his first time using it was before his dandruff, and he said after use number one that his dandruff completely went away and he was completely sold from there. Um, and then again, if you have dry skin, um, I found this to be much more helpful than lotion because um, it doesn't leave you all slimy. It just, like I said, it leaves your body with a neutral pH balance that is actually comfortable. It's not too silky or uh, moist and it's not dry at all. It's just, it's just right and I don't know how to really explain it any better than that, but I, I want you guys to uh, start applying this and let me know what your experience is with it because I've just noticed so many benefits and I think that you guys could benefit as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.